Hello everybody. Today's lesson is going to be find the equation of a line given two points on the line. Well, this is a very important skill, uh, part of the linear uh, chapter, linear equations. Now before we start, we need to have uh, two points from the line, and I've chosen 3, 2, and minus 5, minus 14. So we'll start there. Now I find it's important when you're starting out doing this to name the points. And what I mean by that is this uh, point 3, 2 is the first point. Minus 5 minus 14 is the second point. So we're going to call 3 x1 because it's part of the first point and 2 will be y1. And then the second point, minus 5, will be x2, and minus 14 will be y2. Now today I'm going to break this down for you in steps. The first step is to find the slope. Find the slope of the line. Now your teacher may have said delta y over delta x and the formula that I'm going to use is delta y over delta x but it's broken down a little bit more. y2 take away y1 over x2 take away x1. So now you can see why I've named these points up here, these numbers, x1, y1, x2, y2, because we need to put them in the formula in the right place. If we put them in the wrong place, um, we're going to get a wrong answer. So y2 uh, is the first, first number in the formula, and y2 is minus 14. And we have to subtract y1, which is 2. So we have y2, which is minus 14, subtract y1, which is 2. And on the bottom, we put the x numbers. It's always y over x for slope. Um, x2 is negative 5, so negative 5 goes there. And we subtract x1, which is 3. Now we do the integer math here. Negative 14 subtract 2 is negative 16. And uh, negative 5 subtract 3 is negative 8. And when we divide these two numbers, we get positive 2 as our slope. And I'm going to circle positive 2 because that's an important part of our answer. It's an important part of the equation. Remember that the original uh, question says find the equation of the line and this is going to be part of the equation, an important part. Now, step two is find the y-intercept. Now the y-intercept um, in the equation y equals mx plus b You've seen this before, I know you have. Um, M is the slope, B is the y-intercept. And I called um, M the slope up here because it's part of this equation y equals mx plus B. So it was easy, easier to uh, find the slope because we were given these points up here, x1, y1, x2, y2. But where do we progress from here? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is put 2 in for m, which is the slope. So we replace m with 2, and we have uh, 2x plus b. 
The next uh, step in this is to work with one of the ordered pairs that were given in the question. I always go for the easier ordered pair, the one with the smaller numbers, and there's no negatives here, so I'm going to work with 3, 2. And what I'll do is bring down 3, 2 down here so it's a little closer to where I'm working. Now we have to remember that 3 is x and 2 is y. So when we plug them into this equation, we'll know where they go. Right now, before we proceed, we have three variables, unknown variables, so we can't possibly uh, proceed. Uh, so we're going to take care of two of those variables right now. We replace y with 2. So let's just take the 2, it goes right over here in place of y. And the x is 3. And that comes also from this ordered pair. x is 3, y is 2. And I'm going to bring down the b. And just continue working this out. 2 times 3 is 6, plus b. And when you are solving a simple equation, we usually do this by opposite operation. Um, this is uh, positive 6, so I'm going to take away 6 uh, plus b. If you take away 6 from the right side of the equation, you have to take away 6 from the left side of the equation. Take away 6, take away 6. On the right side of the equation, these cancel out, or they give us zero, so we don't um, need those anymore. And you bring down the b. 2 subtract 6 is negative 4. So we now have the b value, which is the y-intercept. So we call uh, the y-intercept b and the slope we have called m, and it all goes back to y equals mx plus b. Our third step is to write the complete equation um, or we write the answer. Now often when I'm doing math I look back at the question um, that I'm given uh, just to make sure uh, that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It says find the equation of a line. So write the complete equation. So I'm going to start off with y equals mx plus b and in place of m we put 2 from here so y equals 2x, and b is minus 4, so we replace b with minus 4. And that's the answer. That's our equation. And if you break it down into steps like this, it's um, much easier. Uh, it's easy in step 1 and in step 2 to uh, get the x's and y's mixed up. There's just a lot of places where you can make mistakes. Now you need practice uh, in doing this. And if you practice um, sufficiently, then uh, when you have to do this uh, faster, you'll be able to do it. I know there's questions in your book uh, for you to practice with. I, I know that you can do this. Um, be patient with yourself as always. And... Uh, that's, that's the lesson for today. Thank you very much.